moving off of the golf ball. And for the first half of the backswing on the right, you'll see it on the left, obviously the high water mark of 2000. And I want you to just notice the comparison. Halfway back, he's still doing a fine job, right? He's maintaining his height, okay? Now, in 2013, he was dropping down. 2012, he was dropping down there. It's the second half of the backswing where he needs to maintain that height. He's done a great job here shifting off the ball, but he's losing his height. If he could keep literally the base of his neck, the cervical spine, if he could just feel like it's lifting up from halfway back to the top of the backswing like 2000. Now, he won four in a row, 2000, one, two, three. Uh, he won four in a row here. Over on the left, he was one of the best drivers ever here. And he won by 11, he won by four. And that is the only difference between driving the ball great and driving the ball poorly. Because when you drop down, now that's not a lot, but it's a little. And when you further drop down in your downswing, well then all of a sudden at the ball you have to create room.